Hey everyone, welcome back as we continue with the Key Studios 37 Sensor Kit series. So today we're looking at the digital transmitter and receiver modules. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. Basically they work like the remote for your TV set. So we're going to need two Arduinos for this project, one to be the transmitter and one to be the receiver. We'll uh, need three extra breadboard wires for that reason and uh, another power cable so you can plug it into the wall or I'm going to plug it into my computer. So I'm going to head over to the computer and I'm on the Tinkerpie website. I'm going to search for digital IR and I'm going to bring up the uh, transmitter module because the manufacturer's wiki has the code and diagrams for uh, both of the modules uh, in, in one here. So here is the connection diagram for the receiver, which is what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to grab the receiver here, and the blue goes into S, the red goes into plus, the black into negative, and then we're going to plug these into this Arduino. We've got ground and power. And they've got this one going into pin 11. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so I'm going to head over and uh, you're going to grab the code if you're um, following along with me. I'm going to remote into my Raspberry Pi, which is what I use usually to uh, program my Arduino. So what we're going to need for this one is a library for the Arduino. And this is called Arduino IR Remote, and it's out here on GitHub. If you've never installed a library for, uh, for the Arduino, I'm going to show you how to do that. So over on the right, there's a clone or download button. You click that, and then you get this download zip. So once that downloads, uh, I do show in folder. And then I'm going to do a cut here. And then I'm going to find the directory where Arduino is installed. And under that, there's libraries. And I'm going to paste it right here. And then right click on it and extract here. And I always rename this directory because a lot of these come with uh, dash master at the end. So I'm just going to remove that. Click OK. And then when I open up the Arduino software, it's going to detect that. So it, it looks at all the directories underneath the libraries, and it'll, it'll load them automatically. Hey, mine's opening to the sketch, but you'll want to just copy and paste the sketch into to a blank document. Okay, so uh, we have the receive pin at 11, the LED pin of 13, that's the onboard LED. And then we're looking for a signal from the transmitter. And if uh, it sees uh, 0x1, it'll turn the LED on. Okay, so we're going to check the usual things here. We're going to check the board is, is set to the Arduino Uno, and our port is set to our USB port. Okay, and then we're going to click this upload button right here. So that is done uploading, so now we're going to plug the Arduino, or plug the cable from the Raspberry Pi into the other Arduino. And then I'm just going to plug this into the power from my computer. Okay, then I'm going to head back over to the wiki. And we're going to bring up the diagram for the other uh, module, which is the transmitter. So for this one, same thing, we're going to plug the red into plus, the blue into negative, I'm sorry, the black into negative, the blue into signal, and then they've got the blue going into pin 3, which is the fourth one over. Five volts. 
and ground. So next we need to program the second Arduino. So if you still have the wiki open, you're just going to scroll down a little bit here and grab this uh, code right here. And I'm going to head over to my Raspberry Pi, open the software, And if yours comes up to a blank sketch, you're just going to replace the whole thing with the, with the sketch from the website. Okay, we're going to check tools. The board is set to Uno. The port is right. So we're all good to go. And we'll upload it. Okay, so now we can test it. Okay, so when I line them up, it uh, sends the signal over and makes the LED blink. So that was a very simple example of how we can use the transmitter and receiver. We'll be doing some uh, more advanced projects later, so I hope you subscribe to my channel so you'll get a notification.